Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen, amen. God bless you, saints of God, on today. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God bless everyone on today. Glory to God, glory to God. Lord God, we give you praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God, for your goodness and your mercy that endures forever. Your mercies are new every morning, and great is your faithfulness, Lord God. Lord God, there are some of us, Father, who are grieving and we are going through loss. And we ask for your comfort on today, Father. Hallelujah. Lord God, we ask that you comfort those who are left behind for lonely, the lonely ones whose hearts are broken, whose hearts feel hollow. Father, we ask that you comfort us, give us peace, restore hope, and lavish us with love, family, and belonging. And Lord God, in many cases, also friends. In the depth of our loss, meet us with yourself. Lord God, we plead for the legacy of these loved ones, that these loved ones leave, for the ways the world have been made different by their presence. For the memories that came both more beautiful and more painful on this side. We pray that the work you have accomplished in this remarkable life will grow deeper, wider, and stronger in the days to come. Uninhibited by a weak opponent like death. Many of our hearts feels like thousands of knives are running through it, Father. We are weary and spent and sad. Help us, strengthen us, hear our prayers. Hold us and our family up and give us strength. Be present, be persistent in your love. Carry us through this heartache. Sustain us. Bring us joy and hope. When we lose our friends, Lord, we find comfort in the fact that you too grieve for our friends. You have watched soul after soul after soul fall prey to the enemy's lies. Thank you, Lord, for opening our ears to your word our eyes to your truth, and our heart to your message. Thank you for allowing us to understand what truly awaits the ones who choose to follow you. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for those who have accepted Jesus Christ. And Father, we pray for those souls, Lord God, that they that they repented and came to you, Father. Thank you, Lord God, for your hope. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for moving on our behalf. Some of our pain is so deep. And our anger is so fierce. Our fear is crippling. And in the midst of all of these emotions, sometimes we feel numbness. We struggle to know how to pray sometimes and where to begin. Some of us are in disbelief. So, Father, we're going to remind ourselves of truth. 
that we know you are here with us in our grief. We know you are mending the brokenness in ways we can't always see. Lord, hold us in your arms. Take this pain and help us to bear it in Jesus' name. Help us, Father. Grant us joy, Lord God, and help us to rejoice in Jesus. Even during grief, surround us with the peace and comfort only you can provide. In these days forward, may this hurt and burden and brokenness, may it lessen, Father. As the months move to years, use us to encourage and bless someone who must walk a similar path. Help us to point them to you, the God of all comfort. We know that you always with us and that your love never ceases. Help us to find refuge in you, Lord God. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Father, calm our souls as we turn our hearts to you. May we long for you as a deer pants before the water streams. May our souls thirst for you as the tears flows from our face. We know you are a refuge and strength and that you always stand ready to help in times just like this. We will choose not to fear when earthquakes, and mount, when earthquakes come and mountains crumble, let the oceans roar and foam and the mountains tremble as the water surges. As the world chaotically moves around us, we will rest in you. We will choose to be still and know that you are God. Father, we feel empty but you are our rescuer, our cup filler. Fill us with your love, fill us with joy, fill our hearts. You're our only hope, you are our joy. You are our heart. And we come asking for more of your power, more of your strength, more of your renewal. Take away our heartaches and pains Take our grief and our exhaustion. Take it and renew us, Lord God. Renew us. Fill us. Father, we know what it's like to feel that you've abandoned us. Sometimes we feel that way. Sometimes some of us may even accuse you or be upset with you and angry with you because our loved one had to leave. Or because they suffered. Or because of how they left. And you know pain better than anyone. It's not that that's something that you wanted. Come to us now and let us feel your presence. We know that you are close to the brokenhearted and comfort those who mourn. Help us to let you into our grief, to give you our anger and doubt, and to pull us out of this void. Father, we forgive that this person had to leave or this person has left. We forgive that situation, Lord. And we know that you really love us. We just, some of us just really wanted you to intervene. 
But we know that this world is full of sin. And sometimes people, sometimes it, things happen where people have to go home to be with you. Or it's their time. Sometimes people go before their time. But it has nothing to do with you but just the fact that we live, unfortunately, in a sinful world. But no matter what's going on, Lord God, we know that you really do love and care for us. Father, thank you that you see us right now where we are in the midst of our pain and struggle, in the middle of our deserted land. Thank you that you have not forgotten us and never will. Forgive us for not trusting you, for doubting your goodness, or not believing you're really there. We choose to set our eyes on you today. We choose joy and peace. When the whispered lies come and say that we should have no joy or peace. Thank you that you care for us and that your love over us is great. Greater than what we would ever know or think. We confess our need for you. Fill us fresh with your Holy Spirit. Renew our hearts now. Renew our minds in your truth. We ask for your hope and comfort to continue to heal our hearts. Give us courage to face another day. Give us strength, Lord God, to face all that we have to do. All that we have to do during this time. Jesus. Lord God, may we never forget that the ultimate victory belongs to you. Through your sacrifice, death has been defeated. As we continue to walk in your truth, help us to set our eyes on heavenly things. Lord God, strengthen us with the knowledge that you will be the one to wipe away all of our tears and that there will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain when we see you, when we meet you, comfort our loved ones, comfort everyone who's grieving, although we may not all see it now, and it is beyond our human ability to comprehend, give us faith to continue to believe and trust you and your promises to help us in this journey. We pray for everyone's strength, Lord. Comfort us. Comfort them. Comfort all who are grieving. And who are deeply impacted by the magnitude of their heart-wrenching situations. As family members navigate their own pain and suffering. And friends and loved ones. Please remind everyone that you are near to comfort them as well. When anyone feels sadness and fear, provide them with a reminder that you do not sleep or even take a nap. Instead, you are always alert and available to provide the strength they need. You are the only true source of healing and recovery. It's not God's fault. 
it is not God's fault. Some of us may have even prayed that a person be healed from a sickness or disease or an accident, whatever may happen. And we pray that God will miraculously heal them. It is not God's fault. It is not God's fault. It's appointed to man once to pass away and to die. But after that, they will receive eternal life. Father, we ask as everyone provide practical care and faithful service, strengthen them when they are discouraged. As they lift their eyes to you, remind them of your love and that the empowering presence of your spirit is available to them in every moment of each day. When loved ones have to go through paperwork and when they go through their loved ones things and pack them away, Lord God, may there not be arguments, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare peace, Lord God, over family matters and over the cleaning and, and dividing the items, Lord God. Lord God, we pray, Lord God, for peace, that family members do not argue or fight over belongings and over anything, Lord God, over money, Lord God. Let everything be done with a spirit of peace. Let there be no negative already with the grievance, Lord God, added. We ask, Lord God, that you put your hand on the situation and that there be peace, Father, and not destruction, not family members destroying one another. And sometimes, Lord God, people air out dirty laundry and things that the person has done. May that person be healed, Lord God. May the family not even be angry with them. But may that person be healed. Because sometimes people have done things and when they die, that person never got a chance to confront the situation. They probably could have even been too afraid to confront the situation. And so that person needs closure. So we ask, Father, for their healing, that you touch their heart, that they do not destroy themselves, Father, and that they will not be destroyed inwardly, but that they will be healed. Fam Lord God, we pray that the family, the families, everyone's family will be healed and restored and strengthened, that they will move in grace that they will move in humility and father that they will even think of their own soul salvation and that they walk closer to you Lord God help everyone that's hurting Lord God out of this pit and into steady download ground. your favorite podcasts and listen uninterrupted In try Jesus YouTube name. premium on us in Jesus name sorry about that thank you that there's healing in your presence and we call on your name now Jesus and invite the Holy Spirit to come near and touch us with your healing balm we release our sorrow to you, and we ask you to fill every void in our heart with your peace and love. 
Thank you for our loved ones here on earth and for the time we had with them. We release them to you and trusting you to care for them for all eternity, knowing that we will see them again in your timing. We choose to praise you at all times. Thank you for healing our hearts. We love you, Jesus. Thank you for healing our hearts. You are alone are our comforter. And this is a season that our family needs comfort the most. We choose to be, to, to, to walk and, and um, with a healed heart. We know there are moments where some of us may go in and out of feeling sadness. And some of us, we may choose to only think about the good times. The times that we had with our loved ones. Bringing out photo albums. And showing photos and, and videos, watching videos. And remembering their smiles and remembering how they made us laugh. And remembering the joy and how they experienced life. Hold all of us. Please wrap your love around each and every one that's grieving so that they will know they're not alone. You're the one who brings peace, Lord. So we thank you, Lord God, that every time someone feels the grief and the hurt, the hopelessness and the abandonment, Lord God, that you will move in when our spirits feel crushed. Hallelujah. We don't feel you near sometimes, but Lord, we need you. We need you. We draw closer to you. We need you to lift our spirits, Lord. Each and every time we feel that grief. Lord God, help us not to see and look at everything as a loss. Help us to keep our eyes on you. Help us to keep our thoughts and attention on you. Welcome back. Go beyond subscribe. Join the channel to help your favorite creator make more of this yes, and get members only goodies like a secret banana cake recipe. Who knows? It's up to them and you. Join the channel. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Father, you tell us in all things that all things work together for our good. And we may not see it, Lord God. We don't know how sickness and death can work for our good. We don't have our eyes in this situation. But you know every detail of our bodies. You know every detail, Lord God, of our loved ones who passed away. Where there was accidents, sicknesses, diseases, hospital visits. If they slipped and fall, it was an accident. If it was a murder, we, Father, you know all the details. And Lord God, we may not understand why and how this happened. And especially, especially when our loved ones are really good people. 
We hate to see bad things happen to good people, Lord God. But Lord God, we give it all to you. We give it all to you, Lord. We have to trust you in this. We have to trust your wisdom. And we know that everyone must go at times. And sometimes we just, we're not ready for them to leave. It's just simple as that. We see ourselves getting even older with our loved ones or growing older with our friends. With our, our friends, our loved ones, the people that are around us. But Father, we know you can take th this most difficult and painful circumstance and still turn it around for our good. And we want to believe that you will take this and, and, and help us with our unbelief, help us with our grief and our grievances. And Lord, help us and give us a mind to help each other during our suffering and loss. Lord God, help us not to take on a spirit of trying to fix it and make things right. Because we know, Lord God, it's not in our power. Help us, Lord God, instead to empathize with each other, comfort each other, and just be there, Father. Be there when we can to listen to one another and pray for one another and pray with each other. May we surround each other with love and compassion, our family members, our friends, our loved ones, and Father, we ask you to surround us with your love and compassion. Help us to accept what has happened, Lord God. Help us to accept these difficult circumstances. Help us to accept that our love when it's gone. Thank you for staying by our side, even when hardships of life seem to come between us. I give you my heart today and I trust you we give you our hearts and we trust you to use our pain for greater purpose in Jesus mighty name we pray Amen 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 and Amen We pray that everyone who has gone through and going through and grieving and remembering their loved ones for healing, hope, to refocus your heart and mind and to think about God and to think about what Jesus, to think about Jesus and it's not that your loved one doesn't matter, but we want our hearts to be strengthened and strong. We will never forget our loved ones, but we will remember them holy and the love and joy and the hope they, they brought. And if anyone have any grievance over any loved one that passed away, we pray for their healing and that they release it, let it go, holy and forgive that loved one or anyone, their friends or anyone who may have hurt them. Sometimes people get angry and upset and say, well, why is this person mad? Why is this person angry? But everybody must understand, even if you saw a person in a positive light, know that their relationship with other people could be totally different. We don't know the interactions. And sometimes when people are angry, they probably are going through grief and anger because they are releasing what they've experienced with that person. So I don't know. I feel like that comes up a lot and it's coming up in my spirit now 
to even pray for that person. Some people be so angry and say, why do they say these nasty and mean things while this person's dying? And let the, the person that's dying be laid to rest. We understand that. But we also understand the other person that is angry has to release what's in their heart. So may those people be healed. And may we, even if it seems like, oh, this person is terrible, why would they do this? Sometimes family secrets come out. This isn't a time to be angry at the person who's revealing these things. Because it might hurt even more. And sometimes we only want to remember the good. And it's okay. We will only remember the good. Or mostly remember the good. But if the person was someone who was abusive drunkard mistreating others even if they mistreated one person it could be someone who was loving and kind to everybody but they were molesting and beating somebody behind closed doors that no one knows about and the person speaks up You're like why are they saying that they're lying no no that's when that person really grieving and really like I never got a chance to heal from this situation you know, no one's, a lot of times family members attack the person that's telling the truth and attacking that person. Sometimes they don't want to hear it and some people have been through it and they don't want to remember what happened to them. I personally believe that's when that person needs to be loved the most. I personally believe that's when that person needs more patience from the family members and people. I think that's when that person needs healing and they need praying for it, not mistreatment and more attacks and rejection from family members that is not what that's for so I pray for wisdom Lord God from family members I don't believe it's selfish to reveal your hurt and pain that's how people heal it is not selfish It may not always be perfect timing. But then again, sometimes people haven't had perfect timing experience with people. Especially people who have abused them and mistreated them. Did any hurt or harm to them. And they, when they leave the earth, they were never, the grievance so was never dealt with. So, Lord God, we even pray for healing in all these situations. Any messy situation, any hurts, harms, any um, lingering thoughts or hurt or pain from the loved one that passed away who may have actually done something wrong, Lord God. May those people heal. May the family be healed and restored. May the family still operate in grace, forgiveness and patience and kindness even to the person that's acting up the most there's some deep wounds there that need to be healed so may the families not attack each other Lord God not even when someone else grievance is different from theirs someone may have nothing but happy memories where someone has some deep dark memories that no one knows about that's been swept under the rug that's been hidden and so sometimes people say, oh, not, not that person. You never know. Because unfortunately, we're living in a world where people are fallen. It doesn't matter what level of spirituality you think they have. People are human beings. They may have to answer to God. True. True. But they have left, some people have left some damaged souls. They have damaged some hearts and, and broken some hearts. So, Father, we even pray, Lord God, for healing in each and every situation. I can't even imagine all the situations out there of why families would even fight, argue, and, and have issues with each other during um, someone's, someone passing away and moving on from this life. So, Father, we even pray for each and every one of those situations. I'm just 
so speaking of one example, I've heard of different several examples, Lord God, people fighting over estates. But whatever the, the issue is, Lord God, we're praying, Lord God, for healing. We're praying that people operate in grace. And we pray for those who have grievances and upset and anger over the one that has passed away, Lord God. We pray for their healing. In Jesus' mighty name, we will have compassion for all, Lord God. We speak compassion for everyone during a loss. In Jesus' mighty name, no matter how they respond, no matter how they act up, Lord God, we pray for grace and comfort for all. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name I pray, amen. If there's anyone who desire to receive salvation at this moment, repeat after me. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I'm a sinner. I believe that Jesus died on the cross and rose again from the dead on the third day. Forgive me of my sins. I turn away from my sins and I turn to you wholeheartedly. I want to trust and follow you. I want to trust and follow you. Hallelujah. I trust you, Lord God. I follow you, Father. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. I receive Jesus as my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you. The Lord loves you. Hallelujah. We are rejoicing with you. Hallelujah. And those, hallelujah, who are grieving, we pray that much grace abounds. We pray for so much comfort and the love of God, the peace of God, the presence of God. It camps around each and every one of us in the mighty name of Jesus. Know that the Lord, the Lord loves you, hallelujah, with an everlasting love. And sometimes God does not interfere with human experiences. But it doesn't mean that he is not doing anything at all. He is still God. He is still God and all things work together for our good. We invite you, Lord God, to come into our heart and our lives. We love you all. God bless everyone. Be comforted. Be strengthened in Jesus' name. Until next time, goodbye.